Hello, I'm Arunas Kuginis from Teltonica Telematics. Today I will present our new long-awaited plug-and-play tracker FMP100. This tracker is unique with its casing and useful features. Also I want to mention that this tracker is already certified and it has CE, RED, EMARC and other certificates. You can find them all in our Teltonica webpage. So let's move on. This webinar will last about 20 minutes, so please take a comfortable seat and enjoy it. Today I will talk about the need of simple trackers and fast installation. I will introduce the FMP100 and what are the features and benefits of this tracker. As well, I will show how to configure FMP100. Also, I will tell you about the market opportunities and needs. I have a question. Do all fleets need advanced or professional tracking solutions with additional functionality? I would say definitely not. Other fleets just need a basic track and trace device, which can be installed fast and with the option of private and business mode. Various simple tracking devices on the market provide a basic tracking function, and most fleet owners face a small problem. To track the vehicle, they need to connect the tracker and need to have knowledge and experience, of course. So definitely have to call the professionals, integrators, who have, to, uh, who have the know-how of connecting tracking devices. Depending on the tracker, the installation to the vehicle could take about 30, 40 minutes, and you have to schedule this work. One engineer could install up to 16 tracking devices per one day, if there is no need to drive anywhere and all the vehicles are in one place but the installation speed of the connecting the trackers depends on integrator skills and the variety of vehicles, as the connection is different in each vehicle. As for the installation price, it's quite expensive, especially in the regions where the salaries are higher. If we will calculate the simple tracker with the cost of service of installation of the tracker, the sum will be quite big. We all know what the situation is, on, is in the world and everyone is tired of uh, the COVID-19 topic, but it's a part of our daily life. Due to the difficult situation around the world, it's limited to contact other people or arrange gatherings. And it's a difficult period for the integrators as well to connect the trackers to the vehicles. As a result, the installation of devices in some regions are decreasing. This COVID-19 pandemic has caused a global crisis and many countries have been affected. Countries that received a lot of income from tourism, healthcare, entertainment have been particularly hit. And of course, integrated is the difficulties of reduced workload. And obvious consequences of this uh, economic downfall affecting everyone. Some companies restricting their businesses, some stopping. As I mentioned before, many businesses have to limit their operations, while other businesses are just experiencing growth, such as the manufacturing industry or e-commerce. Quarantine triggered an e-commerce boom, and the pandemic accelerated the transition from physical shops to e-shops. And the experts are forecasting that physical shops will shrink up to 60% in the future, and the commerce already grows more than 20% this year. And I want to mention that food ordering online growing rapidly as well. And in some countries, the growth is one and a half times. So everywhere next to these growing businesses, the delivery service are growing as well. So let's move on. And now I want to show you the video that perfectly shows how e-commerce is growing. Even distribution hubs do not manage to proceed such large volumes. So now I would like to introduce FMP 100 and its main features. This product belongs to the plug and play product group, easily to install and easily to unplug. Even the end user can install and remove the device himself. If there is a need, driver can remove the tracker from the existing vehicle and easily plug it into another one and continue his trip. 
The FMP100 has a configurable button that allows you to switch from business mode to private mode. You need to press the button twice to switch the current mode. The LED lights up and you are already in private mode. As a standard, when the driver gets into the vehicle and inserts the FMP into the charging socket, the device switches on, example GSM and Genesis, and starts in business mode. Otherwise, if the device is already in the vehicle, the driver has to start the engine and business mode is on. Also, this button can be used as an alarm button as well. To activate this alarm button, press the button for two seconds and the LED lights up with a buzzer. Also, there are various scenarios for using the alarm button. It can be used for threats on the roads as well as for accidents or other events. The device has 2G connectivity with Bluetooth and we are planning to have a 4G device this year. To be exact, Catam 1. Also, this device has full FMB platform functionality with all scenarios. Let's move on. And I would like to present additional benefits of the FMP device. FMP100 has a USB with one amper for charging uh, other external devices such as telephone, tablet or other additional devices. Configurable RGB LED available in three colors, red, green and blue. It's also possible to configure the speed and quantity of LED flashing. With the help of LED, we can see when the device is on, shows if GSM and GNSS is not working, also shows uh, when operating in business, private mode, or when the alarm button is pressed. Also, FMP has integrated buzzer that can be configured according to the set scenario. An example, if a driver exceeding speed, the buzzer can be triggered. Also, a buzzer can be used on switching between private and business modes. And uh, we have a battery. It ensures that the device will work continuously, even if the power supply is temporarily off. Also, I want to mention about unplug uh, functionality. Two conditions are required for this functionality. First one is gonna be the power must be lost. And the second one, the FMP device must be removed from the socket. When transporting the FMP 100, the battery is inside the product, but it's not connected. The SIM tray is inserted into the device, but not completely. It ensures, this ensures uh, that the battery is not connected. SIM tray acts as which for a battery connection to the device. When the product is delivered to the client, he will have to open the SIM tray, insert the SIM card, and the battery will be connected. In this case, there is no need to disassemble the product for the battery connection. Since I introduced a completely different device, I want to present how to configure FMP100. First, you have to plug FMP100 into vehicle, cigarette light or socket, connect via Bluetooth with laptop, tablet or smartphone, and of course, next you have to open Teltonica Configurator. So right now I'm going to open Teltonica Configurator. And when you open it, you have to go to GPRS over here. And what you need to do, you need to fill up the information of uh, APN. And additionally, to fill up server settings, domain and port for the connectivity. Next, uh, what we need to do, we need to go to user interface over here. And with our standard configuration, everything is set up. So we, we see the GSM settings at the top and GSM below, which can be configured and displayed with LED or buzzer. Next below is an indication scenario. It is possible to set which LED color with the buzzer will trigger any function such as private mode over here we see that it is with a green led or the business mode over here and we see that it's triggered with a blue led 
Next, let's go to the keyboard button over here. And uh, here we see the FMB, FMP100 button configuration. What's possible to set which clicks will activate one or another one function. Pressing uh, once FMP button, you will see the private or business mode. Pressing twice, it's switching mode. Uh, like example, if you are right now on a business uh, on a business mode, so with the two clicks, you're gonna switch uh, to the private mode. And when holding for two seconds, this long quick, um, you're gonna activate an alarm button functionality. Additionally, I want to add, when the driver presses the button twice and switches, like example, uh, to the private mode, no data of tracking will be sent to the server and we will know only the last good position. So let's go to the trip. And um, here, here we see a private and business mode and we can activate only with uh, one click with high priority and additionally uh, everything is set up and additionally I want to mention that uh, we can schedule uh, weekly business uh, mode trips when it should start and when it should end and that's it you are all set and uh, don't forget when you are all set save it everything so let's go back to uh, the presentation Also, I want to remind that Altonica Telematics clients can get access to FOTA. It's the solution for remote access to your Teltonica Telematics devices. FOTA enables firmware upgrades and configuration changes of all FMB devices without a need for a dedicated application. Everything is achieved through a regular, just web browser from any device. It is easy. You can remotely configure a single or a group of FMB devices. Also, you can save configuration templates for different scenarios and conveniently use them when needed. With Foto, you will have easy access to your fleet from anywhere. Just you will need to open your browser and log in to the platform. And of course, you will always know what the actions have been taken with each FMB device at any time. So the FMP 100 is suitable in many cases, especially where there is a cigarette light socket in the vehicle. It also applied where there is a need for a simple solution and fast installation with the need of business and private mode functionality. And looking at use cases, it's possible to apply this solution for driver logbook, recording the exact working hours every day, insurance telematics, receiving data in case of an accident, delivery service, can use in a different vehicle with dedicated FMP device and get working hours and exact location. And of course, for rental and leasing use cases. We have a new device, FMP 100 in our product list that gives new opportunities to the market. This is an ideal solution, especially during this period of pandemic that can help to avoid of contacting other people. And the integrator can immediately send the product to the end user. Growing e-commerce is increasing the number of parcels, which affect the expansion of vehicle fleets to the meet the demand. I have already mentioned that e-commerce will grow over 20% this year, so the delivery market will also grow. If you want to try these features of FMP 100, you can order the sample right now. If you're working with Teltonica Telematics already, you can contact directly to a salesperson. If not, please send a request via email info at teltonica.lt with the subject of FMP 100 and our sales team members will contact you in one business day. Thank you for watching this webinar and see you at our next one. Goodbye and take care.